Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're off to a great start with a brand new front tire. You already know I'm rocking the Rosso 3s. Unfortunately, the carbon mud guard on the front, which is actually OEM, is cracked in multiple places and is not worth saving. So Andreas at RPM Carbon is already sending over a new mud guard. I'm probably gonna have this wheel off again because as you can see, there are a bunch of chips and scratches all over this wheel. But now more packages have arrived in the mail. I'm not quite sure what they are, so let's crack them open and see what they are. Got a beautiful replacement for the purple Woodcraft case cover over here. Now we have a black and aluminum one. Also went ahead and finished the frame sliders. Now here's one thing I don't like about frame sliders. I really dislike the sticking out look of the frame sliders when you look down the bike. For some reason, it just really ruins it for me. Like on this side, I modified it so that it's almost flush with the body, but when it sticks out too much, that just throws it off for me. But the frame and body is not the same on each side. The body and frame are aligned on this side perfectly. And on this side, the frame is tucked in there and the body sits outside of the frame. So that's why the frame slider looks more flush. I ended up chopping down the right side frame slider and painting it so it matched the black frame a little bit better. It's already pretty late here, guys. So we'll catch you tomorrow. brought the LCD screen to a phone repair shop that was pretty well known in the area and they said they could do nothing with it. And unfortunately, I couldn't find a single LCD screen for a Yamaha R1 dash display on eBay or anywhere else. But you know what? I did place one on order from Yamaha, but there's no ETA on when it will arrive. So my buddy actually has a Yamaha R1S dash that he might let me use. Now I've got a quick little giveaway for you guys. First piece is a Yamaha R6 rear tail piece. This piece is from RPM carbon it's genuine carbon all you have to do is go on to my instagram at c.j.media text me a photo of you and your r6 and i'll ship you this piece for free now next is a vortex frame slider kit for any yamaha r1s 2015 to 2020 again just text me a photo of you with your r1 and i'll ship you this for free now these pieces are going to the first people who i receive a message from recently a lot of you have reached out saying you were scammed for money but i will never ever ask you for money, so remember that. But now let's continue touching up the bike.
The rear sets are now freshened up with a nice fresh coat of black paint and I added some extra carbon right in the nose of the bike. Now it's time to move on to these mirrors and slap them on the front of the bike. Flames. That was so much fun. Man, my brother and my dad enjoyed those flames. I'll never get tired of those flames. Now, I know you guys are probably dying to see me put these emblems on the bike. One of the most common questions I got when I was rebuilding the CVR towards the end of the series was, when are you gonna put the emblems on? It was hilarious. So let's put the Yamaha emblems on and the R1M badge. With the emblems in, it definitely ties in well with the polished aluminum. And the R1M badge definitely ties it together. So before I give you guys a price reveal on the bike, let's run through what we're still waiting on. Waiting on the dash. I'm waiting on the shifter lever and components. Also waiting on the right brake reservoir and tubing in the front. Now, a few of you mentioned how I am running a OEM set on the right side and how I'm running a Bonamisi on the left side. I haven't given up on running a Bonamisi on the right side. I've been unable to find any solution as of 
now to run this Akrapovich exhaust and run the aftermarket set. Some of you mentioned that I get a custom bracket for that set and that's a very good idea. Inside the fairing, there's actually a GPS unit that comes with these R1Ms. I am missing the harness and the unit that sits behind this front fairing and I ordered both. And last but not least, the front mudguard from Andreas at RPM Carbon. Now for the price reveal. All right, guys, I got all the numbers for you. Let's start off with the total cost of the bike. So the bike cost me $6,310 out of the door, fees included. All of the places I bought parts from were boats.net, Partzilla, Revzilla, Moto Million, RPM Carbon, and eBay. Now, Boats.net, I spent $2,199.43. Revzilla, I spent $450.11. And Partzilla, I spent $3,000. $89.36. Now on Moto Million, I spent $2,212.84. RPM Carbon, I spent $1,947.50. And eBay, I spent $2,149.40. Which brings the grand total of this bike to $18,000. $358.64. Now, is that a good deal? I don't know what a 2016 Yamaha R1M goes for, and the previous owner said he thinks the mileage is around 14,000 miles. And like always, to God be the glory for this build, and huge shout out to my parents and my siblings for being so supportive. And the best part yet, we're not even done. So, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya. All right, all right. Now you guys ask me this every single video. Where's the BMW? Where is it at? Well guys, it is still at the dealer. Unfortunately, when I dropped it off there about a month and a half ago, they said, oh, we'll be a few days. Then now it's a few weeks. Now it's a month, approaching two months. It's a very weird situation, but you better believe we're not giving up. We're riding that thing. And when I was there a month and a half ago, I saw this M1000, pretty sick.